the soul of the brain. Do you ever think about where your soul actually resides? I think by the process of elimination, we know it must sit in our head. I mean, think about it. Much like automobiles, all of our parts are interchangeable. Even an organ, as important and intricate as the heart, can be transplanted. Amazing. But the one accessory that we can't order from the hospital for replacement is the brain. If you switch someone's brain, you'd switch them. Imagine that. Let's say you're in an accident in which your body was beyond repair while your brain remained unscathed. Meanwhile, a patient in another room lies in a coma with a perfectly usable body. Has this ever been tried before? Isn't that creepy? They should make a movie about this. Or maybe they have. Actually, I'm sure there's something like this out there. So you wake up a week later and the first thing you notice is your hands. They're not yours. What? What the heck? You start freaking out as you begin to examine your entire body. You start sweating and your heart is racing as you climb out of the hospital bed and find a mirror. What you see in the mirror sends a shock of horror through your being. Your face doesn't match the one you've seen in the mirror in all of your memories. Can that really happen? So, I wonder what happens if they plop your brain into an animal. Say a golden retriever. Why won't that work? All the wires don't plug in and match up, I suppose. What about those wires, the nerve attachments? If we figured that out, we could maybe make wireless connections? A brain in a lab somewhere controlling a body downtown. The body wanders into a candy shop where there is a low-hanging display for gummy bears. The controlling brain misjudges the body's height and hit the head on the sign making a very hollow sounding thump. At this point, others in the candy shop are on to the fraud. Nobody's head sounds that hollow. In fact, when they look up the body and the eye, they can tell there's no soul. Okay, I'll shut up now. This is enough imagery for your week leading up to Halloween. One comment from Charity. Silly Yosh. Everyone knows we live in a virtual world as part of one big supercomputer ran by machines that the human race created that have became self-aware. And our bodies serve as batteries that heat the earth through the machines because we scorched the sun in the last world war. I thought you knew that. <laughs>